Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game Mixolumia. Let's uh, select our profile and get to it. Okay. Uh, that's embarrassing. Oh. I thought I could go back. You know what? It's not important what I thought. All that matters is that I was wrong. Uh, really don't understand games that don't just grab your name from your Steam profile. Like, the technology exists to do that, because half the games I play do that. Marathon, clear 4450, board fills up, two minutes, max level, oh my god. Alright, well, I'm going to have to find how to how to play the game. There's only th three backgrounds? Are those backgrounds? They're the music. No, that doesn't make sense. Alright, so how do we play the game? Oh! It's like Dr. Mario. But how do we score points? I do like the preview of where it's going to land. You just have to get three. I understand. Oh, no, wait. You don't, because... Oh, no, wait. Maybe you do. Oh. Oh, but that one slides off. Slides off, unlike Dr. Mario. Okay, so then I just... No, that wasn't three, dummy. Oh. Well, I didn't think that through at all, but this should get that done, right? Yes! A combo? Nice! Uh, is that... That's three, and that'll take the fourth one as well, right? Yeah. I think I got this. Now I just need two blues... Can I get over to the side? No. Oh, that was toxic. Why wouldn't that... Oh, again, it has to be three in a row, Hoguru. It can't be three touching each other. But then you will destroy all of the other ones near it. Eh, this is not going well for me. Oh, wait! I saw something and then I screwed it up. Just like me. Why didn't it destroy those ones? Hmm. That time I didn't have three. I guess a block of four counts? Oof. And that three doesn't count, as we've learned. I do like watching them slide, I'm not gonna lie. Do I have trouble understanding exactly why these various things are breaking when they do? Yes. So the goal is to get to 400 and whatever blocks, 450, and do it while getting the biggest score possible. That looked very pretty, and I'm sad that prettiness didn't, uh... Why would I do that? Because you're still very confused by this game, Hoguru. That's true. More confused than you should be. So yeah, that was totally... When I picked from three things at the beginning, that was totally the soundtrack, right? This is clearly an interesting puzzle game. Is it weird that the thing that interests me most about it is the way that these uh, pieces slide down? Oh, when they land somewhere. All right, so here's my issue with this game. And it's not a big issue, because I'm definitely charmed by the gameplay. But, and I'm going to quit in, after I die in this level, which is coming fast. I'm going to look for a tutorial. Because uh, here's the thing about both Tetris and Dr. Mario. You figure out almost instantaneously how they work. Like, it is never a problem getting someone to understand how Dr. Mario works. The moment you start it, you're like, oh, okay, I got this. And then you do. For as long as you play the game, I think you'll have no trouble understanding that was awesome. Uh, how Dr. Mario works.
Oh my god. Oof. Come on. It's over, huh? Well, we had a good run. We did not have a good run, did we? Nope. What? Oh my golly. How is this still happening? It's over. Oof! Alright, so how do we play? No, that's just credits, isn't it? Oh my god, is that literally the slowest credits in the history of the world? You can speed them up. Way to go, Dave Makes! And Josie Breckner! And lots of people being thanked, which I always appreciate. Alright, let's try this one more time. And say that... It is definitely innovative. Picto Dark. Oh, nice! Take that! Games that don't cover, uh... Dog World. Uh, Busan, Purple Haze, Ultraviolet Haze, Lily Pet. Nice. Oh, that's great. There's so many games out there that don't do, uh... I've played Even the Ocean. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Well, first off, we're turning off board shake. Whoa. That made it... Doing that made it go full screen. Sorry, everybody. I'll turn that off. Huh. Okay, that's back. That was weird. Yeah, so here's the issue. I am 100% charmed by your game. I think it's very interesting. Like, I like this innovative take on a Dr. Mario style game, but, and this is the part that I can't believe I have to say, it should be clearer how the scoring system works. And I know part of the vibe of this game is just art for art's sake. So, like... Nice. Uh, sorry, as I was saying, art for art's sake. So, you just want the game to be and let people have the emotional reaction to it. Which I get, but at the same time... I know how people interact with video games. I'm a person who interacts with video games. And explaining to me how the scoring system works isn't a betrayal of your artistic intentions. It's just, you know, a nice thing to do. Will this work? No. I didn't really think through how the sliding worked in that front. And that's not going to work because... Okay, I get it. You see, I don't know why those three went. Wow, this got loud, huh? Yes! Nope, that was a mistake. I'm almost out of time, everybody. But I did pretty well right at the end. 40,000! That's pretty good. 118th is not great. Let's try that again. 
So the key to scoring this, like everything in rush games, is to play as quickly as possible and just hope you're good at the game. Okay. Okay. Nope. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, no! Could not have screwed that up more thoroughly, could I? Yes, yes, my pretty. Kill for me. Exactly. And I think this is uh, a good sign for how charming this game is. I still don't really have any idea how the scoring system works, but I'm genuinely enjoying myself. Hey, at least they slide in a predictable way. Let's just say I've played a few games where uh, the physics of what's going to happen when you drop a block aren't always, you know... 100% uh, logical. What am I doing? That's obviously wrong. Ogaru, speed it up. The music is telling me. No! Oh my god! Now that's a score. I cannot express how much I respect the work that this d person has done to craft a piece of music that lasts exactly the two minutes of the rush mode in a completely satisfying way. Yes! I almost broke the top 100. Okay, so I still don't quite get how... Like... The scoring system works, but this is obviously very high quality. Uh, Dr. Mario alike. So you said I can't fail. What does that mean exactly? Oh, look! Maybe it didn't say I can't fail. Maybe it said it won't fall, and I wasn't paying attention. I'm actually, uh, Getting a lot of points when I'm not meaning to. It's very intriguing. Or is it? Come on. We got this. Oh, I like it when there's pieces to fall down either way. Be careful. Come on, this is happening. We're almost to the... That was a nice combo, and I'm glad you gave me a trophy for it, but the goal here was not to get a nice combo. It was, you know what, it's clear what my goal is. I don't have to waste time explaining it. Come on. Almost there. We got this, everybody. Um, you literally can't fail, neat. Anyway, so yeah, way to go. You guys have done a really interesting job here. For now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. We have a Patreon now, so if you want to support the channel, check out the link in the description below the video. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.